right, and hello. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of TGIF Renegades. Coming at ya! <laughs> I am Kenny, and uh, as always, this is my co-host and buddy, right. Alex. Damn it. <laughs> hey, everybody! How's it going? Friday! Pay attention. Don't shoot. Well, hoops. I was trying to make it. <laughs> you going to talk about how I spruced up the place? Well, it looks pretty nice. The Thank camper. You. The camper's looking awfully... Whoa, well, it's not a 90s. camper. It's not a camper, though. It's the studio. Get it right. But yes, thank studio. you. I, I'm glad you noticed uh, the studio, you know? S- studio's looking... At, is that your old uh, Trolls my, lunchbox? My old Trolls lunchbox. We uh, we were talking about uh, Full House and the lunchbox a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah. I don't know if it was last... I can't remember. <laughs> Been drinking too much. So you got your old one out? Got my old Trolls out and... Uh, Figured make it a little more 90-ish comfy Except we're still in the late 80s. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyways. If you aren't familiar with the show, uh, Alex and I, like and like every kid in the 90s, was obsessed with TGIF on ABC. And so I say that, and my wife said, not everyone was obsessed with TGIF. <laughs> On ABC. What? Yeah, and I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I. What? Those, those kids must have became like successful and like, <laughs> yeah. like were like book nerds. Their their babysitters weren't the TV on Friday. Night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Their babysitters didn't bring their boyfriends over and make out. You know, um, not like I was watching <laughs> my babysitter. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Well, we learned everything from these shows when we were kids. And uh, we continued to be obsessed with them when we lived together after high school. And then we went on and got married and had our own families and thought, why not just spend some time rewatching and reviewing Full House and Family Matters together? So that's what we've decided to do. Every Friday, we uh, set up a new episode for our podcast. And you guys get to listen to us drunkenly talk about it. Yeah. I uh, yeah. I hope everybody has their popcorn ready. I think that was a big '80s and '90s thing, right? You get I, your popcorn out. It's a big thing now. I, I think. I, well, I don't know. Is it? My kids love popcorn. Oh. I hate it. I hate popcorn. I hate popcorn too. Oh. It gets stuck in your teeth. Yeah. Oh god. Yep. Terrible. Whoever invented popcorn? What was it? A <laughs> colonel guy. He was a colonel. It makes no. sense, right? It's KFC. Oh. Well, yeah, but popcorn has kernels, oh. so I thought it was a kernel. Oh, Anyways, sorry. Oh, okay. Well, Wait I would topic. say the normal thing of, with that said, it's time to crack open a beer, but I don't know if you need another one. Well, <laughs> doesn't matter. It's, say it. Say it. All right. With that said, Alex, it's time to crack open a beer and get into this because it's TGIF. <laughs> so, uh, Kenny, before uh, you get going. I don't know if I want to do this. <laughs> Do you to, want me to, to explain to, your... Yeah, your, yeah. A, a little sneak peek into uh, tonight's episode. All right. So, Alex is wearing his uh, unbuttoned... Uh, what is that? Three three buttons undone? Yep. At the top oh, there? Oh, maybe it's, four. I think it's four. <laughs> Showing off some chest there. Yep. And uh, he's got a little vest over the top of it. Some slacks and some cowboy boots. Yep. Rocking his mullet, free flowing. Free flowing. Uh, I mean, spitting image of Uncle Jesse. <laughs> I, I don't know if anybody in America looks, or in the world, looks like more like Uncle Jesse than uh, me. What about the beard? Okay, that's the <laughs> only thing. The beard's yeah. got to go. I am not shaving the beard, but other than the beard, I look just like Uncle Jesse. That's true. If Uncle Jesse had a beard he, and... He, he's proud of me right and now. And was more of like a six... Instead of a 10, <laughs> he would be fine. You. That's fine. <laughs> Anyways, so, well, so I'm, I'm actually excited about this episode. I am. Except too. for the first three minutes. The first three minutes, <laughs> it's just awful. And then we get going good. And I actually, actually, you will hear something out of my mouth that will shock you. Oh, gosh. During could, this. Could something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I should just start with Family Matters to just throw you totally off. No, because I'm <laughs> pumped right now. So Full House, Season 1, Episode 5. Uh, the title is Sea Cruise. Uh, the uh, episode originally aired October 16th, 1987. And IMDb rating, this is their lowest. 
the whole way. So far in five episodes. This is their lowest. This is their lowest out of the first So this five. is episode... Wow, I'm actually shocked because th- this is episode that I'm like, all right, I can, I, I'm enjoying it. Now. I think we'll we'll hit why I think it's low at the uh, at the end of this of of Full House. If but, it's what I think it is, I'm gonna be pissed. But. So it's a six point six out of ten. Oh my gosh! I think their previous low for the four episodes was like seven point one. Yeah. yeah. So there's no cold open um, per use at this point. Uh, just the opening music where Jesse. Uh, what I noticed was in this this time watching Jesse rocking out in his tank top shirt while Stephanie ballets past him, uh, and the and the girls uh the fishing scene that you yep. talked about, I noticed that all three of those actors fakes. Yes, it's not the it's not no. the same. The girl the girls look about the same height, but they have uh definitely Stephanie has straight hair in. The fake, the Stephanie, fake Stephanie has straight hair yeah. in the opening credits, so I, yeah. I know. I, it's ridiculous. And I know it's not DJ. No, it's, it's, not. Not, it's not. And the Danny guy, like, no. turns around, and he's got, like, a short, stumpy yeah. nose, yeah. and that's terrible. Not, that's not <laughs> terrible. Danny. So we start out with Uncle Jesse in the living room playing his guitar and singing. Uh, he's trying to right. make a new song about an Italian goddess. Oh. Hey. <laughs> and it's... Sounds, I mean, it's pretty bad. Um, Whoa, I don't, I don't think so. But. <laughs> I mean, it will be a hit someday, but right now, he's got a lot of kinks to work out. And uh, Joey barges in. Jesse tries to get Joey to help him with lyrics, rhyming the word Lamborghini, and <laughs> something about a weenie, and then they kind of make fun of each other. <laughs> so, so then Danny, too, comes in uh, to the room, and he's videotaping Michelle walking in. Michelle's walking. walking. Yep. Oh my gosh! Ah, uh, yep. it just gets goes downhill from here with Michelle. <laughs> now she's mobile. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Danny's video there was a huge applause too. Oh yeah. Oh, huge. Oh, oh my gosh. Cute, cute baby cute walking baby in. Walking in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, now, so we learn she's been walking now for three days, and Danny's videotaping. Has he been videotaping for three days, or is it? Uh, Just yeah. today, he decided to. That but... big-ass <laughs> camcorder of his. Spe- speaking of babies, though, what's, what cool tricks is AJ doing these days? Uh, so, he... AJ is now... Okay, he, he's really... His hands. He's always grabbing stuff with his hands now. Okay. And for some reason, he's always trying to grab my beer cans. <laughs> Why do you have so many beer cans around him? <laughs> well, I just, you know... <laughs> I'm giving him his bottle, and I'm taking my bottle. And it's well, like, he wants mine instead. And I'm like, no. <laughs> but other than well, that, he's, uh, he's, he's starting to kind of sit up a little bit now, okay. too. So, yeah. Okay. So, not, I guess not at the Michelle level yet. But, right. No. You know, no. He's give well, him he'll, time. Get there. He'll, be, he'll get there. He'll be walking. He'll get there. Uh, well, I guess he could uh, crawl before he walks. But, you know. Uh, oh, that's <laughs> how it works? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes you don't. Sometimes babies just walk. Well, they don't crawl. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joey, when he's in there, Danny's videotaping, talking about how he's so proud of Michelle for walking and stuff. And he's kind of frightened, I think, because he's like, oh my gosh, she can grab stuff and yeah. walk and all that. And Joey then sneaks behind Michelle, or holds her up or something, and then he, no. he says, Ah, oh, yeah, oh, ah, yeah, I am Robo Baby. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can't do a good baby voice like Joey. He's so good no. at it. <laughs> It just it cringes me every time he tries to speak for Michelle. Yeah, just, but yes, I, I am Robo you... Baby. <laughs> now DJ and Stephanie come down dressed in full B outfits. Now you have a lot of outfits: turkey outfit, pig outfit. You have I a, have I B believe outfit? I do have a B outfit. You have a B outfit. I believe I do. I couldn't find it today, but I believe I do. Okay. And you missed out on saying, I believe I, be I do. I believe I do. I'm sorry. So, apparently, Grandma is here to pick them up. For the honeybee. Yeah, the honeybee. Uh, uh, it's like Girl Scouts. Yeah, honeybee bee Scouts. Yeah. Honey yeah. Bee. And which grandma do you think it is? Probably Grandma Irene. Because Grandma Claire yeah, is, lives, lives her, elsewhere. But her ass is gone. Yeah, they don't say. Mindy was so... Joey's mom, Mindy, was so excited about helping. Maybe maybe it's her and they call her grandma now. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe you're probably right. So, 
<laughs> so I guess I we not trust my kids with Mindy though. No, no. I, but they trust their, they trust them with Joey. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess DJ is retiring as Queen B, and because she is, as she says, way too old for this outfit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's uh, passing the torch to the bees of the future, and she places the bee crown on Stephanie's head. Aw, that's cute. It's really not a bee crown. It's like <laughs> stupid antlers. Antlers? <laughs> antlers. <laughs> Tennis. Antennas. Whatever. Whatever <laughs> bees have. Yeah, same thing. Bees. Yes. Yeah, that, the whole damn time, they're like, bees. Yeah. Oh, yeah. gosh. They love it. Oh, yeah, Stephanie makes numerous uh, bee-related bee. jokes. Uh, they do the... Danny has them do the stupid honeybee butt bump thing. <laughs> Do you, you, you know it? <laughs> I can't. I, I, I know it. it. Okay, do it. I know it. Do it. <laughs> because they bump butts. So they yeah, twirl stingers. around. Yeah, they yeah. Steeners, they steen each other in the butt. Stephanie and DJ do. And they yes. go, zoo. Yes. I was cracking up. <laughs> that actually did make me laugh. Yeah, so you hated the first three minutes, but you loved it. <laughs> I do love that part. Right. I do. Now, now, Danny hold, uh, hands Michelle to DJ, uh, and he says, "Cause Grandma's here, you know, you guys gotta go." So he <laughs> so, kicks her yeah. asses out. The so door. they all leave, but so Danny doesn't like walk out with them, and Grandma doesn't come in to say hello or anything. Yeah. Like it's just like, "You're going to Grandma's, bye." <laughs> yeah, and they don't take anything with them. They had backpacks. Did, did they? they? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, they did have little backpacks. Oh, good. But good I spot because I only I only thought I saw Michelle with something. No, no, they oh. had they had backpacks. Good spot. Yeah. Good spot. There we go. Now Danny says to the guys because they're sitting on the couch and he says, "No children in the house." Do you hear that? Silence. And then he like puts his hand <laughs> on Joey. I understand. Yeah. He like yeah. Oh yeah. He puts his hand on Joey. And Joey's about to talk, and they he goes, Whoa, and then they both cover his mouth to keep God, him from they, talking. <laughs> that's the best thing I've heard. <laughs> and then Danny has his hand so awkward. Did you see how awkwardly his no. hand is draped? No. His hand is I'm draped. I'm probably like, too drunk. <laughs> his hand is draped, like, totally on Joey's, like, peck. <laughs> like, wait, you caught him a peck? That's no peck. <laughs> that's a boob. <laughs> well, yeah. And uh, uh, if it was... Uncle Jesse, that would that's, be a peck. That's a peck. Anyways. <laughs> so he has his hand awkwardly on Joey as they're talking about, or he's talking about not knowing, like, what to do without any parental responsibilities. Yeah. Um, Which I thought he all the time does because <laughs> yeah. Jesse and Joey have been taking care of the kids. Exactly. Uh, Uncle Jesse, like, immediately, like, hops up and he's like, we should get some girls. Woo! Yeah. Um, and Joey suggests there's a Three Stooges festival, and that's a perfect place to find ladies. Oh my gosh. They're, they're, they're all, like, confused. But Could did you, you imagine? But did you catch this funny part that, like, I don't know if this is a innuendo or if, or, or if my, my dirty mind took me there. Because he goes... Dirty mind, but... He goes, Three Stooges festival. The great thing is... They don't mind if you poke them in the eye. Oh! <laughs> like, like what? what? And they kind of look at him like, I don't know if they're looking at him like he's crazy or, or like, I lo- <laughs> where are you going with this, where? Joey? So That's then, awesome. Then Jesse suggests basically going kind of farther out. I, th- I think a different state. I can't remember what he said, but a Marilyn Monroe look-like contest. Uh, so probably Nevada, right? He, he, Nevada. Are you sure? I think it was Tacoma. But Co- that oh, could wow. be, I could be wrong. Okay. I, I didn't write down I don't what... Know where the hell Tacoma is, so I'm just going to go, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not San Francisco. That, no, that's, so it's farther away. Yeah. Then uh, Danny's a little apprehensive. He's a little nervous. He, he basically admits uh, he can't do what they're suggesting because it's, it's only been five months since he lost Pam. Which makes me wonder, because when Grandma left, it was three months. Oh, wow, okay. So now we've jumped wow. two months ahead. Yeah. In a matter of just a couple episodes. So, cool. Anyway. Well, so, so, yeah. Timeline is, is great. Is checking glad out you, here a little bit. Glad you caught that. Yeah. Well, that's what I do. And yeah. I, <laughs> my more, more than I thought about it. Joey and Jesse are kind of like, uh, you know, like, 
they're kind of bummed. They want to get they want to get laid. Or yeah, whatever, right. Whatever Joey wants to do. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> With the three Stooges, Stooges. ladies. Um, Danny, Danny finally, he's like, uh, we've never had a guy's night out. Let's go do some mail. Let's go let's for go, some male bonding. Let's bro it up. Bro, bro time. Bro time. <laughs> you know. Hose okay. before. Wait. Bros, bros before hoes. Bros before hoes. Yeah, they they kind of okay. You know that it's true. He he's his wife died. So we got, yeah, we gotta another, please him. Another using the wife, dead wife. As a, is it every episode so far? <laughs> I, pretty much, I Jeez. think. Uh, we so, know, Danny. We know. Yeah. Then uh, Danny says, "You guys are not even going to think about women once you see what I have in store for you." <laughs> what? What? Whoa! So then. New scene shows Danny standing in full fishing gear, like fishing attire, yeah. the, the vest with like uh, he he's decked out. Yeah, he's got the like, bait and hooks, hooks and buoys the, the and hat. whatever else. Yeah, I mean he he looks like a hell of a fisherman. He's he's been down at the what, what is the sign show on the opening thing, <laughs> Fisherman's Wharf or whatever uh, it I is. You, uh, Matt, and you're, it's, you, I think you might be right. Yeah. Actually, he's he's a fisherman. fisherman. And, I wanna uh, be. Whatever. And jo- Joey comes creepily out of the alcove, <laughs> dressed like a captain. <laughs> like, and I've never laughed this much at Joey. <laughs> now I'm already creeping myself out with how much detail I'm looking at, but his mannequin is not dressed as a captain. It's still what he was wearing, wearing earlier, prior, yep. right when the episode started. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So he only had. He must have only bought. It wasn't a two for one sale on the captain. Well, outfit. I, honestly, like, I, that a captain outfit that he has, I mean, that got to be some bucks, right? Yeah, that that's like yacht stuff, mm-hmm. right there. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Joey taught. I don't know. He makes some talk about fishing or whatever. Yeah. Um, Jesse comes downstairs and he is dressed like oh, Alex is right yeah. now. He is his badass self. Yep. So he comes strutting down, and Danny and Joey say he looks ridiculous. <laughs> do I look like ridiculous right now? Yeah, yes, you do. <laughs> what? But they say he looks ridiculous because they're going fishing. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying he look ridiculous because we're sitting in the studio. <laughs> we we can go fishing right now in my pond, and I'm perfectly fine with it. I'll catch a damn fish before you will in this in this attire I have on. We're not gonna go fishing in February, pal. It's not, it's not happening. You're right. You're right. Uh, then the phone rings and Joey answers. It's Roxana, the Roxana. Yeah. Oh. And she's calling for Jesse. Apparently, the Roxana is a big, big deal. Uh, Jesse says he helped her start her band, oh. and that they were hot and heavy. Who 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 is that a check Man, check what are we at? I can't I, remember. I, for either four or five. You were supposed I to think keep... I, damn it. Four. Four. I got four? it written down oh, you actually. Do. So I, this will I be really do. Four. So this will be five though? This, this is, is four. four. Oh this wow. Is, this is four. Eddie, right? hurry up, buddy. Yep, Eddie's gotta get, get going. So he Jesse demands the phone from Joey, and Joey's not giving him the phone. He's trying to have a conversation with Roxana. He says he bought her album. And they were, uh, somehow he, she... he does like Roxana. Yeah. Joey does. Apparently. He's a fan. <laughs> Apparently, did they not like? Uh, since they've been together for quite a few months now, like you would have conversations. Like you would think Jesse would be like, "Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I uh, used to hang out with this girl, this girl, Roxana." And then Joey would be like, "Oh, I love Roxana." Yeah, you know, like it's or if, weird. if Joey bought the album, was he ever listening to it? And Jesse like walks yeah. in and is like, "Dude, I." I was hot and heavy with her, like... Yeah, no, no. seriously, like, that's weird that it never got brought up. They, they don't have in-depth conversations yeah. unless we're watching their conversations. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Joey's not giving him the phone, and Jesse chokes him with the phone cord. <laughs> do you remember phone cords on yes. phone? Like, now you can't do that. No. Jesse, uh, then has a conversation with Roxana about how his music is going great, which Joey kind of... Brings out the lie and is like, I thought you said you weren't doing so good. Damn, yeah. Joey. And uh, so then Jesse kind of gives him a nasty look or whatever. Calls him Wolf Boy somehow. I can't remember. <laughs> I didn't write all right. of it down, but he... That's right, he does. I don't know why he calls him Wolf Boy. He, he tells Roxana Joey was raised by, by wolves, wolves. And then yeah. he calls him Wolf Boy later. Yeah. You're <laughs> so, so weird. That's so stupid. <laughs> they do Such good. Such an 80s thing. Yeah. 
so Jesse says um, he's been wanting to see her again, and tonight would be great. And Danny and Joey get like right up in his face while he's on the phone. <laughs> do you <laughs> do you remember Danny? No, oh, no. Danny's like, but Jesse. <laughs> You promised. <laughs> like, then, dude. Yeah. And Jesse looks over and then Joey goes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this is where you will be shocked that that right there. Do it again. Do it again for everybody. <laughs> Bloop. But Joey does it 20 times better than you did it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that is probably my favorite. Favorite thing, like acting ability, he's done. Yeah. Oh, it was good because I I have no clue how he does that. Yeah. The the it sounded like a real reel. Uh huh. If that makes it, real real <laughs> a real real a fishing reel, and then the bloop. Yeah. Like I don't know how he did it. No, that was really uh, good. do it one more time for me. Sorry, sorry. Let me try and do it better. <laughs> boop. I can't I can't do uh, a yeah, bloop. Yeah. I got it. It, it was honestly that that it, was really good. It was good. I was impressed. Yeah. Uh, Jesse then realizes he can't go because of what they say, and he lies again, telling her that he's going on a yacht and partying. Uh, so now we're taken over to the dock, and you kind of see the ship and the dock whole thing. <laughs> At night, yes, too, right? yes. <laughs> where uh, Danny says, "A night of men doing manly things." <laughs> he talks about how amazing and uh, like masculine. I don't think he says masculine, but a, the manliest man is Captain Jack. Yeah. And uh, out, rough and rugged, <laughs> yeah. And out, out comes a lady that's about the guy's age, and uh, we find out that she's, Captain Jack is retired. Yeah, what were you gonna say about she's, she's a looker, she's 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 a fine young lady, yeah. she's she's attractive. She has that like um, uh, oversized sweatshirt, yeah, kind of hidden off the shoulders, look <laughs> like 80s, yeah, look. 80s look, really, really balled up on the yeah. sleeves, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, she's she's. She's a nice young lady. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> yes, she is. So, so we find out that she's the granddaughter, and her name's Caroline. And uh, she's the new captain in charge. So Danny's kind of like, well, um, you know. a, a night of man, uh, men doing manly things and Caroline, Caroline, you know. Then suddenly, Roxana and two other women come up. And these, they are also not dressed for fishing, I will tell you that. Some some short dresses <laughs> going on. Yeah. You remember the backup singers' names? The two ladies are the backup singers. I do are. not, but I do kind of remember what they were wearing. I think <laughs> Gosh, of course. I think the blonde has like a, a like not oh man, tiger tiger stripe dress on. Hmm. I uh, maybe I remember. But uh, anyways, yeah, they, they were Yeah. Yv- Yvonne and Vega. Oh. Yvonne and Vega. Vega. So <laughs> who comes up with these great uh, names? <laughs> Uh, Jesse says, Roxana, have mercy. <laughs> it's not as in-depth as he Whoa, gets. He's, he's shocked. Yeah. Uh, Roxana says she tracked him down before she leaves on tour. And what? she just had to see him and party with him one last time. <laughs> what? Oh, baby. Well, I mean, that's freaking awesome. But how in that, like, how does she track him down? Well, he did on the phone when he said he was going on a yacht. He mentioned the name of the, sh- the boat. Oh, did he? He did. Oh, okay. I, I didn't write it down. Oh. Uh, oh, wow, okay. Something, but he... Oh, yeah. then it makes more... Okay. Yeah. Because so she... when I was watching it uh, late one night, I <laughs> I was like, whoa, yeah. how the hell did this happen? How did she find but, it? But even then, how did she find it? There was no Google. She couldn't have Googled the boat well, She must have been calling <laughs> yeah. like she crazy. Calling everyone, yeah. Wow, she is really hot and heavy she for, is hot. for my pal. Yeah. So Danny says, there isn't a party here, because she mentions wanting to party with him one last time. There's no party here. And Joey says, well, there is now. Yeah. And Danny, yeah, they, they got the champagne yeah. champagne ready. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so now we're at a new scene. We're now on the boat, like actually on the boat before we were on the dock. Did, I, I'm sorry. I, yeah. Did you see, though, going into this scene, when they're, they show a boat out in the, uh, I'm guessing in the bay there, and it's just this massive boat. Like, it's not, it definitely is not the same boat that they're on. <laughs> right. Because it's just, like, a massive, like, fishing boat. Right. So, yeah. it's just, like, holy, like, it's a big boat that they show, but it's not the it's real not, boat. Yeah. It's not what they're on. No. They're on the, the what, what is it, like, the not the lifeboat? Yeah, like, like the lifeboat of that big ship. Yeah, right. Yeah. 
It's just some <laughs> shitty boat that they're on. Yeah. So Caroline, this this new scene opens with like Jesse and Joey are like ah, 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 talking to the girls, yeah. and then Mackinac. Yeah. Okay. Then Caroline thanks Danny for helping him with helping her with the anchor, and uh, he says he lives for this stuff. I didn't know Danny lived lived for Fisher. I had no life. clue. He is a fisherman, I guess. <laughs> um, so then Danny like interrupts the guy's macking on the women, and he's like, "It's time to fish." So he like pulls them away, <laughs> and uh, they're both kind of are pissed, but whatever. It's, it's guys' night. <laughs> yeah. So Danny asks which which fishing pole Jesse wants, and he's a fisherman. He knows his stuff. Yeah, <laughs> he, yeah he does. He starts going into um, if Jesse wants the Dewa or the Shimano. There's more to those names, but those are the yeah. gists of the names. But And you know, I was impressed because I, I don't know anything really about fishing. No. I, I know you have no clue no, no about clue. fishing. And it's like, are, is, are these real things? Yeah. Like, <laughs> He went into like how far they go out or what they, you know. Yeah. He was, he was throwing I, out numbers with them. And I... I I phoned a friend on this. Did you? Okay. Yeah, but uh, my brother-in-law didn't want to answer his phone at 3 in the morning when I was watching this. So I, I <laughs> never like, got an answer. He's like, damn it, Alex is calling me drunk again, wanting to know full <laughs> yeah. house information. <laughs> so, so Danny explains a few things about each, the Dewa and the Shimano. And uh, Joey tries to take the Shimano because Jesse's like, I don't care. He's, he's just, I don't care which fishing pole. So then Joey tries to take the Shimano. And Jesse says, the hell you will. And he grabs the Shimano because it sounded better. The numbers that Danny threw out, the Shimano sounded better. So Jesse wants the one that the sounds Shimano. better. Yeah, so then once he takes the Shimano, Danny makes fun of him for his bad choice. He says, bad choice for these waters. <laughs> he knows He knows, he knows everything. <laughs> and uh, so then after a few seconds of that, Jesse goes over to Roxana with the fishing pole. And he mentions to her that he's using a Shimano for the water. And she, she goes, in these waters? <laughs> I just love it. I love that. Because uh, even she knows, she knows some of it. Oh, that's hilarious. Roxana. Uh, then Jesse starts to put the moves on her, talking about the full moon and how they rented a cabin. Yeah. And Do you went... remember that? Do you remember that time when we rented the <laughs> cabin under the full moon? And then they talk about they went to the beach and they got even crazier. <laughs> whoa. 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 Yeah. Somebody, uh, hopefully... Dusted off those crevices after that beach visit, huh? <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> now they start to talk uh, slow and they get real close, like they're gonna kiss. And I don't know, were you watching it as close as I was to this part? They're going, they're talking eye to eye, and he is <laughs> looking at her eye, and then I see his eyes drop to her boobs. No way! <laughs> yes, really. You watch that. I'll have to you rewatch look, it. it. Yeah, if you guys were watching it, man. Yes. Oh, man. It looks, it totally looks like he broke character, like, yeah. like he broke character to quick sneak a peek, uh, and it's cool. awesome. That's, but they, it's my Uncle Jesse. Yep. They, they kiss, and Joey and Danny see them, and they approach, and they start singing the Love Boat theme song. I didn't know it was the Love Boat theme oh, song. Oh, you did? I, I did. I did. You did? I did. I had to look yep. up what song it was. So. Yep. My, my nerdiness came out that I'm like, oh, that's the Love Boat, you know, theme oh, song. Nice. Uh, Love strong. <laughs> uh, I can't. That's, that's all I that's got. All got. Um, now we're over to the other end of the boat where the backup girls say that all the champagne is gone. And they say it like real demanding, like really weird. All the champagne is gone. <laughs> yeah, like, it, was, it, was only, it was one bottle. Yeah, between what? Three, six, six people. Yeah. And if Caroline was drinking. I, I'm sure like, Danny wasn't, though. No, Danny yeah, probably wasn't. So. Five people. Yeah, five people. This st- that's not like that much. No, no. Uh, Joey says... They should have brought more. They can have a menage a fish. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, like a menage a fish uh, is supposed to be sexy in some way. Uh, but then one of the girls say, uh, we, we'd need a lot more champagne. <laughs> <laughs> and then Joey goes, you have to admit, it's pretty sexy out here. Putting his moves on. Yeah. Him. Do you remember this part? Uh, this is. I, I was taking notes while watching this with my eight-year-old and three-year-old, <laughs> and I was a little, I was a little uneasy because I'm like, he's gonna start picking up on what this means somehow, because he says, 
all the swaying and rolling, rolling and swaying, <laughs> up and down, <laughs> down and up. I actually, I, I, that, I know what it was like. I was honestly thinking of boat stuff. I wasn't even thinking oh dirty. Oh my gosh, it was. But now that you talk about it. It was really awkward. because he is such a creep, man. <laughs> and so he says. This so is what happens when he drinks. He yes. gets creepy. Yes. At least he didn't start <laughs> saying, uh, Conga! Oh, yeah. God. Drunk, drunk Joey drunk loves Joey. the Conga. Conga! <laughs> so, right after he says, up and down, down and up, the girls go, <laughs> and run off to puke. <laughs> then it shows, it. then it shows Caroline and Danny laughing and talking and she says, he's kind of funny. And Danny, he's like, no, I'm no, not. And she's like, yeah, you are. So bashful. You know, then Danny walks over to uh, give Joey a lesson on fishing. And Joey uh, Joey tries. He listens and he repeats everything. And he ends up throwing the fishing pole in the water. <laughs> it's so stupid, though. <laughs> because, like, and then I cast the line. And yeah. then he, like... Just chucks so it. Chucks in. it. Like <laughs> er, even if you're the stu like stupid, you know, like you have to hold on to the line. It, it just it bothers. Yeah, me. it was really dumb. And Danny just it like he shakes his head. <laughs> That's expensive <laughs> fishing pole. I'm sure. Yeah, a Shimano. Yeah, or no, a day wide. Do you think Joey was like like trying to be a funny guy? Maybe he was trying to impress. He was that guy yeah, that's that like, guy. Hey, this will be funny. I'll throw the fishing <laughs> pole over. Yeah. Stupid. So Danny just shakes his head, and we come back from the commercial, and everyone's fishing, even the girls, even the dress-wearing girls. Uh, Danny hasn't caught anything, and he's, like, getting pissed, because everyone else has caught something, and he even says, like, they're not even, they're not even wearing fishing attire, <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> doesn't he want scuba gear to go check out? I think he wants, like... Oh, yeah, he does make a joke about... You got any scuba gears? I want to know if these fish are just be mean to me. <laughs> yes, yes. So he hasn't caught anything. Everyone else has. And it shows Uncle Jesse uh, fishing with Roxana. And she's like cuddling his arm. And uh, she says she wishes she could see him more often. And uh, she asks if he remembers the first song she sang for, for his band. And he can't really. And then she starts... Down in the treetop all day long, hopping and bopping and singing this song. All the little things on the game you see, hopping and bopping and singing Tweet, 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 rock and rock and tweet, tweet, tweet. tweet. <laughs> yeah, they, don't they do like a? You know, oh. They actually, this is this is great though, because we always talk about how they're like, they always have to talk, do a choreographic dance. They actually say. Like, yeah, let's yeah. do a choreographic dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually yeah, say Jesse it. does. Yeah, bring them Boys? around. Boys, uh, yeah. So it's a whole. Yep, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the whole part really annoyed me because <laughs> it was uh, great. <laughs> and, and, and did you see Caroline though? She's in the back. She's like... on. The, she's up on the ladder, like like a go-go <laughs> dancer girl, like yeah. swaying her hair. Yeah. Like yeah, it she was, was great. She was into it. Let's see, let's see it a little bit one more time for me before we go on from this. Rock and Robin, tweet, 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 Rock and Robin, tweet, 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 tweet. tweet. Ah, gosh, I love it. Oh, Rock and Robin, won't you really go and rock tonight? Tweet, tweet, tweet. tweet. <laughs> what a great song. Yeah. I'll listen to it. <laughs> so, so after they sing this stupid song, uh, Joey has his arms around both backup singers. Woo. He just like comes up behind them after they just puke their yeah, guts out. Yeah, he's one of those guys. He is. He's he's not giving up. They and they can't they can't go anywhere. They're stuck in a boat. They're stuck <laughs> sick on a boat. Yeah. And uh, so this is the guy you like too. Yeah, he's great. Uh, while Je while Jesse and Roxanne are gazing at each other, and Danny goes back to his fishing pole and he has something on on the line. Yes, yes, yes. And he's like, oh, this is a big one, and it pulls him into the water. And Joey, like, without even a thought, jumps, just jumps right that in. Good and everyone looks at Jesse to save them, and Jesse's like, Duh. 
He goes, I guess. Yeah, I think he says, I guess. And he starts slowly removing like his jacket and his wallet. And, now, his I, I don't, <laughs> and I don't mean to keep interrupting you, but no. here, here's here's the thing, though. So he, I, and I noticed this, he gives his wallet to one of the other girls. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't give it to Roxanne. Right. So he's never met these two girls. He's going to give them his wallet? <laughs> but he's met Roxanne. Yeah. I, I guess they're on a boat, so she can't go anywhere with That's it. True. That's true. But still, damn, I'll give Roxanne my wallet and the girl my... Or my, Caroline. She yeah. Could, she could... I mean, she'd be held reliable if his yeah. wallet was... Sold. Wait, it, actually, shouldn't Caroline have jumped in? Yeah. She's the captain boat. of the boat. Yes. That's, That's true. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fired up now. <laughs> Caroline's a terrible captain. Yeah, she should have. Maybe she ran to get uh, a, a life a, vest, yeah, a lifesaver a thing. Lifesaver. Yeah, maybe that's what she was doing. She was. She Hopefully, was it wasn't smart. the candies. <laughs> that's a Joey joke. She, she's a, like they're popping candies in her mouth. <laughs> Got my lifesavers. <laughs> so, so after this whole, everyone jumps in. Now we're back at the house, back at yeah. the Tanner household, and everyone is there, and it looks like it's morning. Yeah. Did so, you notice that? Yeah. And, like, everyone. The guys are there, Caroline, Roxanne, and the backup. Because I think it was, like, pancakes and, and shit like yeah, that, they're right? Yeah, they're making breakfast. <laughs> what, what, what went on? I I really want to know. <laughs> I do, too. You know what went on in Jesse's room. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> what about the rest of them? I mean, like, yeah. Caroline, why why did she even cut? Yeah, I, why don't she just go home? Yeah, exactly. Or were they out on the boat the, whole, the rest of the time? Maybe, maybe, maybe it was just a partying little... up. Yeah, with I guess no so. Alcohol. Yeah, well, they yeah, drank that true. one bottle of champagne, and that was it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> anyway, maybe, maybe Caroline grabbed out a spare bottle of Captain Jack's. Jack's. <laughs> Captain Jack's. <laughs> yeah, whole cabinet full. I, I, honestly, <laughs> great point. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, I mean, had to. Uh, so the backup girls uh, say they need to go. They need to get going. So Joey starts to walk them out, and Roxana and Jesse follow. And they thank Joey for the Pepto. <laughs> they still had stomach issues. <laughs> and, and then they say they almost had fun with them. But they say it, like, laughingly. You know, they're not being nasty. Um, then they say, uh, you know, Joey, we've met a lot of men. And now we've met you. <laughs> <laughs> so true. And they both give him a kiss on the cheek. Oh. And they leave. Oh. And now Jesse and Roxanne are eye to eye saying their goodbyes, and she invites him to go on the road with her. And at first he thinks to be in the band, but then she breaks yeah. the news. It's not to be in the band. Um, it's just to just follow her, just be with her. And, and he he takes he's offended by that, and he, yeah. he's like, I don't want to be a groupie. This part of Uncle Jesse kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, just because like, dude, come on. Yeah, like. You heard her on the boat. She sings amazing. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I, I just, it's... <sighs> yeah, he he's getting a little little pissed for, yeah. for something he, stupid. He's jealous. He's definitely jealous. Yeah. yeah. So, like, he's he's talking about how he's... I, I'm not, I'm not going to be a groupie. He doesn't say groupie, but I'm yeah. not going to carry your bags. Eggs. Then over in the kitchen, Caroline and Danny are washing the dishes, and she puts she like links interlocks arms with them. You're you're but you're missing. Hold on, because oh, um, after that, mm-hmm. the girls, the two girls leave. Joey's walking to the laundry room behind. Yeah, yeah, and he like, mm-hmm. what's going on over here? Oh, with Dan or with uh, Jesse and 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 uh, Roxanne. Yeah, yeah, he saw yeah. that, and then he then it pops over to the kitchen. Yep, and okay. he hears Caroline and Danny talking, He's creeping out in the background. Yep. yep. Caroline says uh, she wants to cook dinner for him or lunch or something because oh. Danny keeps basically turning her down. Yeah. Like he's 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 getting a little nervous. Um, and Joey, Sweet like girl. you said, Joey Sweet sees girl. all that's happening there. And um, as Danny says, uh, I'm sorry, but this was a mistake. You shouldn't be here right now. Now, what was a mistake? Her coming over or was yeah, uh, that's a good point? Something through the night a mistake? Yeah, because oh. I mean, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is, we're getting yeah. We're that's getting some hidden meanings here. And uh, Danny starts to escort Caroline to the door. And in the living room, Jesse's kicking Roxanna out, telling her to get in her limousine because he's ticked. And uh, Joey stops him and keeps the girls there. And he says uh, he needs to see Je- Jesse and Danny in the kitchen with him. 
so in the kitchen they go in and Joey asks them what what's up with both their situations what's with the women come on guys what's happening <laughs> what's, what's happening and uh, Jesse vents about how uh, she took off big and his band is playing in crummy dives and uh, he said he he said that by the time he was 24 he would have a record deal well he's 24 and a half and nothing so he's only 24 and a half what <laughs> Wow! He's... I was too busy watching Full House at 24. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This guy... <laughs> I love him. He's, he's way more badass than I was at 24. Yeah. He's way more badass than I am at 34. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joey compares Jesse's situation to him seeing Alf on t- every time he sees Alf on TV. <laughs> the, audience, the audience cracks up because no one knows what he's saying. And then he, he basically says, like, he's doing stand-up in little clubs, and a carpet sample has his own series. Little jab at Alf there. Yeah. That son oh, of a yeah. bitch. <laughs> I love Alf. <laughs> so, so he's, Joey basically says to hang in there, and he'll, he'll make it big, too, someday. And uh, then he asks Danny why Danny's so upset with Caroline. And after a little bit, Joey gets out of Danny that, uh, that Danny does like Caroline. And as the sentimental music starts, Danny talks about how Ever since Pam died, it's so hard and confusing. And uh, Joey says, life, life is a struggle, but what helps you get through the hard times are the people by your side. Um, <laughs> you're not supposed to laugh. We're in the, sorry. We're in the sentimental I'm music sorry, party. But so, I can't take Joey serious. Well, you'll, you'll love it then, because he goes on to say that when... Uh, that's when uh, people like Roxana and Caroline come along. You shouldn't push them away because they could be great friendships. Yeah. And uh, it's a really great speech by Joey. And uh, Uncle Jesse says, this is coming from the same guy that spends hours perfecting underarm noises. <laughs> and uh, he says, where, where is this coming from, Joey? And Joey says, it's coming from the heart. And he goes, well, I had a little help with the words. It's what Scooby-Doo told Scrappy-Doo last Saturday morning. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't believe that. No, no. Scooby doesn't talk. <laughs> Scooby's just like... Yeah, yeah. See, oh, Scrappy yeah. talks. Oh, Scrappy, yeah. Does talk. so, Scrappy does talk. Scrappy's definitely like a badass little dog. Little pup. Yeah, a little pup. But I don't believe that Scooby talks that much. Yeah, doesn't See? Scooby just make noises? Scooby snacks! <laughs> Yeah, he's full of shit. He's lying. <laughs> they thank him, and Danny hugs him, and then Joey puts his hand out to shake Jesse's hand, but Jesse brings it in for a big hug too. Oh wow! And Danny says wow. while they're hugging, Danny says, "All right, we got in some male bonding after all." <laughs> and now, <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. Now, now we go. Danny goes in to talk to Caroline in the kitchen. Oh, he asks to talk to Caroline in the kitchen. Uh, he apologizes for flipping out and says he just isn't ready for this yet because of his wife. And asks if they could just be friends. And she says that'd be great and hugs him. And she seemed a little too happy that he said friend. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, the suggestion well, of friends. Like, yeah. <laughs> Thank God you said that. <laughs> we just spent the night together. Friends with benefits? <laughs> I, that's all I wanted. Uh, Joey peeks in at them and he smiles. And then, meanwhile, in the living room, Jesse apologizes to Roxana and says he was insanely je- jealous. And she tells him that uh, his time will come soon. Uh, he's too good. And Joey peeks in there, too, and smiles. <laughs> and uh, Jesse talks about it's how all he... all from Scooby-Doo and Scrappy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Jesse talks about how he can't go with her on the road anyways because he can't be tied down. He needs to be freewheeling, riding on the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Living on the edge. Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> Just then, Stephanie and DJ come in dressed like bees, and Stephanie asks Jesse for help getting her stinger off, and he hops right up to help. <laughs> Wait, they stole their bee outfit? <laughs> yeah, apparently. Jeez. And uh, Roxana comes a little closer, and he, he kind of looks up because he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> shit, I just said I need to live on it. And then he goes, well, living on the edge of cuteness. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think that's a good line no, at that's all. Not. <laughs> well, that's the end. That's the end of the episode. Really? That, that took us on the ride on the ship there. So wow. Uh, a little trivia on this one is uh, this was the first use of "Have Mercy." 
Oh, is it? Oh, okay. It is. Roxana, have mercy, but it was a light have mercy. Yeah, so... It does... It, he perfects his have mercy as... So the first have mercy was on Roxana. Yes, yes it was. Interesting. Yeah, and uh, also, Jesse was at it again. He said hell again. Oh, nice. That nice. is five episodes. First nice. five episodes say hell. Four nice. times by Jesse, once by Stephanie. Throwing the H H E double hockey sticks around, huh? <laughs> yeah. And uh, the last thing, and this is what I was saying about the low rating. So this episode actually gives the audience a hint of what the original premise of the series was supposed to be about. Apparently, the initial pitches for the show was that the storyline was supposed to revolve around three stand-up comic bachelors. Okay. Um, They later dropped the idea for them being bachelor comedians, um, and they all just had different jobs. But yeah. Either way, but they were supposed to be... The original premise was three stand-up comic bachelors who shared the same house. And the show was to deal with their trials and tribulations. But ABC, however, wanted to make a more family-driven comedy. And then it was rewritten to the series we all know and love, Full House. Okay. So in this episode, we... With just Jesse, Danny, and Joey, we got a taste of what could have been. Yeah, yeah. And I apparently, it. it was lowest ratings yeah, ever because... But- but and I think that's because the first four episodes, people well, were liking the kids. And I then guess this one. I guess too, because it was a technically a kids. But I mean, so so they're probably more into like Stephanie and DJ. Yeah. Oh, like, sure. What you know? Okay. And even even watching it with my kids, they kept. When are the girls going to be on? Oh, and really? I'm like, okay. I'm like, uh, they're not. This is like a. This is more of a grown up episode. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like, so yeah, that's why. So so what's uh. What is in the mind of Alex this episode? Well, so a couple things here. Roxana mm-hmm. is this huge super, like super oh, yeah. star, right? Yeah, she's huge. She's on MTV and all that. Like I've never seen her on MTV. No. no. So why are we lying about that crap? Yeah, she was never on MTV. They like, couldn't. They couldn't get a real celebrity. It's only the fifth episode. Yeah. They're like <laughs> that's like I am pissed that they're lying to me that that she was on MTV. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, that just bothers me. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the other thing that, that, that wasn't talked about was when everybody's having a struggle with, uh, Jesse with Roxana and then, uh, Danny with, uh, Caroline. Caroline and the girls are about to leave the house and Joey's like, wait, don't leave yet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just give me, give me a second. If I were those two girls, like all the guys go in the kitchen then. If I those two girls, I'd be like, let's get the hell out of here. Like, <laughs> what's going to happen? Right. Like, why are we waiting around for these two assholes that, like, don't want us? Yeah, that's but, true. But they waited around. Yeah. And, like, like Joey Joey says in the episode, uh, like, uh, you you were a rock star and you love fishing. Come up with, I don't know, he yeah, said something he's, stupid. Yeah, but it's like, I'd just be like, let's get the hell out yeah. of here and, like, go get a they drink. Both, yeah. They both got <laughs> turned down. Yeah. Let's go. Let's like, get... like, really? So, but kudos to Joey because that reel and the bloop was spot on. Spot on. Spot on. <laughs> hey, and uh, by the way, I you don't. I'm guessing you don't know, but the Rockin' and the Tree Bird. Do you know who sings that song? Rockin' Rob. No, I don't. I can't yeah, think. What of a great one. song. It's a good one. So uh, the next episode of Full House is Daddy's Home. <laughs> is the title of that one. Okay, Daddy's so, Home. Daddy's Home. So it's going to be a... <laughs> da- da- <laughs> How is that Danny with her with his kids? Or is that what Uncle Jesse says to the ladies? To the ladies. <laughs> or, or possibly, does Caroline come back? Daddy's Home. <laughs> like, does Dan- Danny, like, open the door and be like, Daddy's Home, Caroline? Yeah, like I'm sure. Like I'm sure that's it. <laughs> I think so. I think so. <laughs> oh, boy. Now let's hop into the limo with Roxana, Yvonne, and Vega. Ooh! <laughs> awesome! And we'll, and we'll go from San Francisco over to Chicago. Oh, man. Because I'm, sure I'm sure her next stop was near Chicago. I mean, we can oh, yeah. stop. If, she, if she's got stops between San Francisco and Chicago, we'll go with. The best part is, you know there's a, a mini bar in the limo. <laughs> right. So we don't even have to... Buy beer to take with us. Right. Yeah. They're they're supplying. I mean, they they brought champagne on a 
sea cruise thing. Yeah. So you know they have champagne in yeah. there. So we're... Ooh, they only brought one bottle, though. So maybe Ooh. go we should. Go pick up yeah. a 30-pack I'll, right, I'll be right back. <laughs> I get to sit ne- next to Roxana, though. Okay. I mean, oh. I, I am Uncle Jesse. <laughs> yeah. so. she, she won't even know the difference. Yeah, she won't even know the difference. <laughs> and really... Maybe the girls won't know the difference between me and Joey. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> yeah. Maybe an upgrade there. They'll Actually, they'll be on to me when I try and do the fishing reel and the bloop. They'll know it's no, not. It's, <laughs> it's not true. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Matt, what a long, that's going to be a long limo ride. That would be a long limo ride. <laughs> I can't wait. It's going to be great. So we go over to Chicago for a little family matters. All right. Uh, so let me... Crack this open. Uh, see you guys. <laughs> see you, Roxana. See you next time. Thanks for thanks for the beer. <laughs> so, Family Matters, season one, episode five, title: Straight A's. Oh yeah, and uh, some good schooling. Yes, sounds like yes. right. This is uh, some smart is, kids here. This is like you. You report. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. exactly <laughs> like me. So this. This aired originally October 20th, 1989. IMDb rating 6.9. So better than the Full House episode we just did. This is the did. first time, I think, huh? This I think it's back-to-back episodes. All right. Last week was 6.92. Their, their ratings are on the uptick, I think. Cool. We should, I should, you know why I love spreadsheets. I should yeah. get a like a chart going yeah. up of the IMDb rating. <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> and we have it posted in Post, here. Yeah. Every, week, every week I come in like a report, like I have a report. I would love it. <laughs> Uh, so this cold open shows uh, Eddie laying on the couch. He's yeah. he's reading and listening to the TV loudly with his boombox going loud as well. <laughs> and Carl comes awesome. down and he's horrified by the noises. Oh, his, calm down, Carl. His face is like... <laughs> <laughs> he makes the best impressions, I think. Oh, man. His, his face is, yeah. for stuff is just amazing. It's, it's perfect. And so he's horrified, and he comes down, and he shuts off, shuts both of them off. But it's funny because he shuts the TV off, thinking that was the loudness. But then it's actually the boom radio. Box. Yeah, the boombox is going too. <laughs> like what? What was he doing? Like I, I never was that into that, like music and TV nah. on. But I was never into music when I was younger. No, no. Uh, I was. I kind of was yeah. uh, here and there, but yeah, TV of course. Family yeah. matters. Yeah, and family. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, so he comes down, shuts them both off, and he tells Eddie his study habits, studying habits are pitiful. He asks how Eddie's doing in school, and Eddie says he's getting straight C's, and with a shot at a B. Hey! And Carl asks, in which subject? And he says, wood shop. I'm getting pretty good at shellac. <laughs> and, and... So now we're in the episode. <laughs> You love that. I, I do. <laughs> I do. Um, so we're in the kitchen with Laura, Judy, and Rachel. And they're coloring. And Harriet is icing a cake. Because that's what you do. It's a typical, typical, typical Saturday afternoon. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Rachel brags about how good she is at coloring. And Judy, Judy with her, her one-liners per, yeah. per episode, she puts her down and says she went way outside the lines. You went way outside the lines! <laughs> But honestly, did you look at that? Oh, that was good color. I didn't see any no. outside the lines. No. Judy's full of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, the forgotten child is full of bullshit. Yeah, she's just... I'm calling her out. No wonder she's... Nobody likes her. <laughs> yeah. so, so Carl barges in, uh, saying that we need to do something about Eddie. Uh, he's worried about him. And Harriet, Harriet says, it's first semester of high school, and uh, I wouldn't worry too much. So he is a freshman. Yeah, first semester yeah. of high school. Last last week we were talking, or maybe it was two weeks ago, we were talking about uh, whether he was freshman or or uh, sophomore. Sophomore, and yeah. He's yep. he's freshman, first first semester of high school. And she says, "Don't worry about it too much." And Carl then says, "If he doesn't get good grades, he won't get into college. And if he doesn't go into college, he won't get a good job." Wow. And then Laura interrupts and says, "And if he doesn't get a good job, then he'll live in here forever." And Harriet <laughs> says, "That's it. We're finding him a tutor." <laughs> When Eddie comes into the kitchen, um, he's invited to color by Rachel, uh, but he says he got done studying and he wouldn't want to overload his brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> I, I, I hear you, Eddie. 
Uh, new day now. Uh, Car- new day, new scene. Carl comes downstairs in the living room where Harriet, Eddie, Laura, and Judy are waiting for him. It's report card <laughs> day! <laughs> and Harriet, also known as... Report card lady! <laughs> yeah. Come on down! <laughs> she, she, she does not she enjoy does, the name. She does. But she has it on a silver platter for him. Yep, yep. So she hands him the envelopes. And apparently this is a Winslow family tradition to go over the report cards. And for every A, they get $5. Oh, how much money would you have made? Oh, man. <laughs> None. <laughs> I wouldn't have made much either. For I, every A? For every A. Damn. Yeah. I would not have made a dollar. Now, would you, now if your parents did this incentive, would you have worked harder? No. no. <laughs> yeah, I tell with that. Uh, Judy's first, and two A's and three B's. So she gets ten bucks. Uh, she says, I'm rich! And runs upstairs. It's such a terrible... Terrible line though, because she's like, "I'm rich." And it's just like she overdoes every scene. Yeah, that's why the people are like, "We can't put her in too much." Yeah, <laughs> we like, already switched actresses after the first episode. I, I really wonder what that first actress would have been like through this whole that's thing. That's true, because Judy, the Forgotten Child, is just terrible. She's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So she says, "Laura's up next." I'm yep. guessing. Laura, that, right? come on down. Laura has A's in everything oh. except history, a B plus, and she's mad. <laughs> she has never gotten a B before, so Laura's Laura's upset, but she gets twenty five bucks for her right. for her job oh. there. Oh yeah. Now Edward. Oh. Uh, he quick tries to make excuses, like his teacher hates him, and he says Part something. Yeah, probably. Um, Carl looks at the report card and he's amazed. Eddie got straight A's. What? <laughs> Old Eddie Winslow. Oh, yeah. Pulling Eddie, it out. Eddie the stud Winslow. Eddie the stud Winslow. <laughs> is that goes straight A's? Is that a check mark? I can't it? check it. I can't check oh, it. So, still four or nothing. If you're a stud, you're not getting straight A's. <laughs> you're not. That's true. For all the kids out there. <laughs> I hope there's no kids listening to this. <laughs> but if, if there is... Don't get straight A's. You're not going to be a stud like Eddie, Uncle Jesse, and myself, you know. <laughs> Could you imagine if there were kids listening to this, though? <laughs> My, they're like, Mom, Dad, I found this, <laughs> this podcast of two drunk guys talking about these shows. <laughs> oh, it would be uh, great. That would be pretty good. Parents would love it. Yeah. Hi, parents. <laughs> so, so Eddie, Eddie gets straight A's, and Laura's confused, and, and she's ticked. And Eddie says, well, six A's at $5 a piece. You owe me 40 bucks, Dad. (laughs) And the audience cracks up. You know why they crack up? Because it's not right. Right, good, good. But but it did, honestly, I'm going to be totally honest. (laughs) I was thinking, like, wait a minute. Why is everybody laughing? Like, (laughs) yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's wrong, he's wrong. So Laura corrects him, and she's she basically says he can't even multiply. How do you get straight A's? <laughs> so, and Eddie's like standing there waiting for the money, and Carl's like he can't find cash because he didn't expect to pay out this much. <laughs> <laughs> he, he basically asks uh, the uh, report, report card lady. Yes, he asks report card lady for some money, and she's not paying. So he he has to do like a check. <laughs> Can you? Will you take a check? Uh, so in the kitchen, a new day again, and Rachel and Harriet are in there, and Laura comes home from school bummed out, saying she doesn't deserve to have any fun until she gets an A in history. I it it, it baffles me. Like I hate that she's such a whiny little brat. <laughs> I'll put it properly. <laughs> uh, and I it, it honestly, she's a nerd. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Oh, She's yeah. a nerd. Yep. Just remember this. She is a nerd right now. She has to have the best grades. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, now there's a knock at the door, and Rachel opens it and finds that it's Eddie's friend, Rodney. Rodney! <laughs> Woo! Oh, yes. Rodney. I'm is... looking forward to this. He. How would you describe Rodney? <laughs> A douchebag. <laughs> That's how I would describe him. He yeah. doesn't even know. He's too young to even know he's a douchebag. But 
Yeah. Think about it as this is the friend when you were a young kid mm-hmm. that was always like, yeah, like your family just cringed that you had this friend. Yeah. Like, they did not want you to have this friend. This is Rodney. Right. And right. I love Rodney. Did you so. have a friend like Rodney? I, I try to think. I, I honestly was thinking about this, and I don't really. I would have. Was I Rodney? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, can't I if you might can't have think, been. If you can't think of a Rodney, I, it I might, might be. Have been Rodney. <laughs> oh. No. But go on, because this. this <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, gotta, I love yeah. Rodney. Yeah, so, so as he comes in, he shakes hands with Rachel. And it's a fake hand, and that freaks her out. <laughs> so we see this kid is a prankster. Yeah. He's not only a douche, he's, he's a, prankster. a prankster. And uh, because we find out he's a prankster because Harriet tells him she doesn't want any fake vomit in her kitchen again. He's well, like, uh, he's like, oh, chill out, Rachel. <laughs> yeah, he does. As, as he goes up to Eddie's room, uh, Harriet yells at him for, to not put any more saran wrap on the toilets. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, I bet it was Carl that and, found that out. <laughs> and honestly, I didn't know that that joke was that old. Like the, the saran wrap toilet thing. I I thought it was like a newer newer no, thing. It's, it's been around for a while. I no did not way. know that. Rodney. Rodney started it probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. Maybe it was, yeah. He's he's an awesome character. He's a trendsetter too. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yes. So now we're up in Eddie's room, and Rodney immediately fakes a stomachache as he walks in the room. He's like, "Ugh, uh, uh. why, why would you? Why would you fall for it? Like your friend just opens the door. And you know, Eddie's an idiot, yeah, and you know he's like a douche. Like, yeah. So, so he comes in and he, quote unquote, pukes on him with silly string. He's straight. And then Eddie quick whips out a silly string. Where zero. he whipped that out <laughs> at is unbelievable. Well, he was to sitting me. at his desk, so he might you know, have had one. At that time, in the eighties, late eighties, everybody just had silly string. Yeah. You had to be prepared. <laughs> it was just funny. If if you if you watch the episode, how Rodney does it is mm. he does a good job. He's like, Bleh! and he sprays it all over. Oh yeah, yeah. that's great. He's better than Joey. He at, he really <laughs> is. Yeah. Pranks. Uh, so they spray each other, and then Rodney, like, slouches on the bed. Ooh. He's like, say, uh, <laughs> we need to go to the movies, Eddie. And Eddie says he doesn't want to go to the movies because he wants to study and keep up his good grades. <sighs> Such a good... Yeah. I, honestly, Eddie's trying... He's like a kid that, like, wants to be on the straight path of, like, good stuff and, like, get good grades. Yeah. And Rodney and- over here. And notice, when Rodney came in, he says he's studying. Eddie said he's studying. There was no TV, no music. No. His study habits Sorry. are no longer pitiful. He's a good... Yeah. He's, he's on it. But Rodney says, oh, so so you must have got your report card, huh? Well, oh, <laughs> sounds like Rodney's up to something. <laughs> so it turns out he made fake report cards for the entire class as a joke. The real ones come tomorrow. Now, I thought that was weird. Why would Laura and Judy have nah, gotten there? I mean, I, they're different schools. I thought you would think about this. Yeah, okay. So, number one, Ronnie has a computer because he figured this out on his computer. Okay. Uh, so, obviously, he's a douchebag because he has a lot oh, of money. His family true. has a lot of money. But then I was thinking, Judy and Laura are in middle school. So, maybe their report cards came out a day earlier. That's true. And Ronnie was thinking ahead and being like... Oh, uh, well, we'll just, you know... Match it up. Match it up, because we're know. in high school, so maybe they all are. Yeah, so you were on to me. I was. Yeah. Yep. All right, all right. That's my theory. So, okay, that's that's probably true. So the uh, the real ones come tomorrow, then uh, Eddie says, Man, I thought I was smart. And Rodney <laughs> replies, You thought you were smart? Why are you stupid? <laughs> that, was a, that was my favorite yeah, that's line. That's a great the friend whole. right there. <laughs> Uh, then Eddie says, Dad, it's going to kill me. And we go to a commercial. And when we get back from the commercial, in the kitchen with uh, Harriet and Rachel again, because why, well, where else would well, they hang out? I get, kitchen t- <laughs> Is this like typical like 80s, like women are in the kitchen type Probably. of thing? Damn. Damn. Laura comes uh, in from the living room, bummed again, and Harriet offers her a cookie. And Laura says, okay. uh, again, she doesn't deserve any fun. So Harriet assures her that she still did great. And uh, Laura says she wanted to go to a top law school like Harvard, Yale, or Michigan. <laughs> so she says she wants to go to Harvard, Yale, or Michigan, but she doesn't want to end up at the University of Bubba. Bubba, <laughs> Bubba making it up here again. again. 
goodness. <laughs> now, is this Bubba from Family Matters? Bubba or Bubba the Turtle from Full House? Man, this is confusing. Yeah. I don't know. Blowing my, my mind. University of Bubba. Uh, Harriet tells Rachel to try to get through to her. And after Rachel doesn't do well yeah. cheering her up, uh, Harriet comes in with the hammer. She's like, not not a literal hammer, but like yeah. a figurative hammer. She shows everyone the cookies and says, shoot, I have to throw these out. And they're like, what? They look fine. What's wrong? And she says, one, one doesn't have enough chips. And if they aren't all perfect, then none of them work. And Laura says, that's stupid. You shouldn't throw them all away just because one isn't. Oh, I get it now. You're using a parenting trick. And it's just so annoying, though. Yeah. Laura, how Laura says it, it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's just It just bothers me. Yeah. Just cringy, cringy scene of stupidness. Yep. Uh, but now we're on to the next day. This this episode is flying through. It's through. through. <laughs> yeah. uh, Harriet comes in the kitchen from the back door to Carl. And she says, the new dry cleaner is great. They got the jelly donut stains out of his cop uniform. <laughs> and Carl's looking at college brochures for Harvard, Yale, and Columbia. And Harriet, wow. Harriet says he's getting ahead of himself with this. Yeah, which I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I don't agree with everything Harriet says, but I this, agree with this. This is one of them. Uh, and then just, just then uh, Eddie walks in. and Carl shows Eddie that he bought him a new Bears jacket. Yeah. For, for the smart guy. Yeah, you remember those jackets? Those the, the, nice but, ones. the button ones? Yeah, yeah they, those were nice. Yeah. I don't. I, I, have, do, I have a White Sox one. I think, actually, uh, I think right my now. dad had one, too. Yeah. I don't know if I ever had, had a button-down one like that. So Eddie tells his dad, like, he's like, Dad, Dad, yeah, but I, we need to talk. And Carl just keeps, like, interrupting him and pushing college talk on him. And he tells him about Columbia. Um, <laughs> and Eddie says he wouldn't want to go there. He's like, why? And he's I don't speak Spanish. So he doesn't know Colombia the right. Uh, then then Carl says he, he actually arranged with a friend to have a Harvard recruiter come to the house to talk to him. Oh. So Carl is he's, way ahead of himself. Yeah, he's, way, he's telling all of his cop buddies about this and everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. man. He's so proud of his son. He is. So now, <laughs> now on to the back porch. Hello. Woo! Back porch. Back porch. <laughs> That's four, what is it, four out of five episodes. I wish I had a horn. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't, wait, is that a horn? Oh, yeah. whatever. Or an uh, uh, air horn. Air horn. Air horn. <laughs> Back porch. <laughs> Rachel's writing, and Eddie comes out, and she, she asks what's on his mind, and she can tell something's wrong. Uh, he says there was a little mistake on his report card, and after a little bit of, eh, I don't want to say, I don't know, and then he tells Rachel the whole Rodney thing. And as he probably mentions Rodney and Rachel's like, oh gosh, <laughs> that jackass. That jackass. Uh, she asks, she asks him what his real grades are, and he says mostly C's and a couple B's. And she says, well, that's not that bad. And asks what he's going to do, and he says he will study hard and get straight A's on this next report card, and no one will get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Why would anybody get hurt? <laughs> like that would solve anything, anyways. Uh, so she says, well, that might work, but she's not really buying it. And she says, or then he says, maybe he should just tell the truth. Yeah. And, uh, and, he's, and he's wise. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he is, but yeah. So Rachel leaves to hang out with her kid or something. <laughs> I don't know. She just yes, says, she, she says, does. Little Richie, uh, you can hear him going, ee, mm. ee, and he starts crying. Yep. Okay. So yep. here's one line of the show. Uh, so she leaves to hang out with the kid or take care of it. And in the kitchen, Harriet is doing something and in probably baking again or something. <laughs> in comes Carl looking for Eddie again. He yells to Eddie to come in from the porch. And Carl bought Eddie a personal computer system. Holy shit. Yeah. I bet back was, then I was like, the shit. Yeah. So Eddie stops him to finally tells him his report card was a fake. He tells him the Rodney thing. And that he had nothing to do with it, which is true. He didn't. You know, he's, no, he, he, he was, he's, he's such just, a great yeah. kid. He's like, it's that jackass that comes over. <laughs> I'm not even friends with him. <laughs> jackass. And uh, then he, he hands Harry at the real report card. And she says it's his best report card yet. Four C's and two B's. 
two B's. That's pretty solid. I, I just say, I mean, four, I, I mean, four C's is nothing to laugh about. Let's I mean, get real. Like, not everybody has to have straight A's. Right. I'm I, obviously this whole episode's about this right. whole scenario. I, 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 that's pretty good for Eddie. Yeah, not bad. No. Um, and she shows Carl, and he kind of disappointingly goes, "And no A's." <laughs> and Eddie says, "I guess I'm stupid." And he walks upstairs. Ooh, if you were a dad. At that point, when because he slowly walked upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't you be like, Eddie, wait, hold yeah, on. Oh, yeah. Hold oh. on. Come back here. Right. No. But he's just, not Carl. Yeah. But he does say, maybe I'm the one that's stupid. <laughs> As that he's just walking upstairs. Yeah. Like, you couldn't stop him. But... No. So after a commercial break, uh, Eddie's up in his room and Carl knocks on the door to come in and talk. And Carl apologizes. Uh, while there's while the sentimental music starts playing, real quick, you noticed Eddie's room. It's totally different than the pilot. It sure is. It's like shorter. There's because yeah. if you remember that first episode, he went from one window to a totally new, new window, window to look to peeping Tom. So they got rid of that peeping Tom window. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like the hallway now into yeah. Eddie's room. It must be right. Yeah. So yeah. And, it's and it's finished. The room is. Yeah. Finished now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the most part, I think the chimney isn't yet. Right, he has that. But so great room. Yeah, great room. It looks great. Yeah. Anyways, Carl admits to overreacting and getting a little carried away, and Eddie says he it felt good. Uh, he felt good about himself being smart, but uh, now he has to go back to being stupid old Eddie. <laughs> so bad for him. I know. And uh, Carl assures him that he isn't stupid, and if he uses some discipline, he can do anything he wants. And uh, Carl then admits that he and his grandfather never went to college. And he just got excited that Eddie could be the first Winslow to go to college. Oh, so that's something to yeah. think about. Yeah. And uh, Eddie says he's still going to try hard to go to college. And that he hears the, the college babes are kind of fine. Yeah. <laughs> so he, My wife's a college babe. Oh, there you go. Huh? There you go. Huh? And Carl says, he says something like, you did good. Not uh, excellent, but good. Right, but then Eddie says it's actually you did well. Oh. He corrects him. He's already is that is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he actually learned. He Damn. Studied a little. I bit failed English it. quite a few times. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a lie. I yeah. did. Yeah. Um, then Eddie says, "Oh, and uh, you were talking earlier about Colombia. You know, there's a drug war there, right?" <laughs> <laughs> and, and I just thought it was so funny because he says that, and then it plays some music. Like, you know, to, like, switch scenes. And it just shows, like, Carl, like, sit Eddie back down. And, like, <laughs> it's clear he's explaining to him some stuff. Just, I don't know. It just was funny. Uh, so Carl walks back down to the kitchen to Harriet. Oh, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Big Dad, you know. <laughs> Adjust the old belt, the belt strap. Um, he decides he was putting way too much pressure on the kids. And there will no longer be a report card tradition. And uh, Harriet's excited because no more... Report card lady! <laughs> so Rachel comes in and says, a Harvard recruiter is there. Carl says he needs to tell the guy to leave. And Rachel says, no, 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 I will. I want to talk to him anyways. And everyone's <laughs> like, Richie's only nine months old. What do you need to talk to a Harvard recruiter for? And Rachel says, I want to talk to him about me because he is cute. <laughs> the audience cracks uh, up. <laughs> Rachel, man, and that's the end. Geez. The end of the episode. Is it really? Yeah. Uh, that's I. I enjoyed the episode. I did I, too. I, I, yeah, I did. It was good. Uh, a little trivia about this one. It's uh, as we mentioned, first appearance of Rodney. Rodney, yes. And uh, I can't. I wasn't. I, I, I haven't watched too far ahead, but. Uh, do we have a lot of Rodney, or, Rod Rodney? or is it around when Urkel decides to show no, up? No, no, no. Rod Rodney is around um, for this the rest of this season okay. and into season two. I wow. believe. Wow. Okay. There, there, and he is a relevant character. Wow. Okay. Coming up. I'm, so. I'm excited then. Yeah. Um, did you notice who? Oh yes, I did. Was not in the episode. Yes, Mother Winslow. Yeah. Where was she at this whole episode? Uh, probably if. You've been listening to us. She's probably at the White House. <laughs> probably visiting the bushes. Bushes. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, honestly, it. I I do love Mother Winslow. She w it would have been nice to hear some of her little quips about uh, 
dumb people or, you know, yeah. like, or, or something. I don't know. And uh, last thing is, it's not really trivia. This this didn't have, like, any trivia that I could find, but um, Rachel's now on the hunt for men. Yeah. Looking at this Harvard recruiter. Yeah. Um, Alan Smith must not be in the picture anymore. Yeah. I don't know. Come on now. <laughs> so, Alan Smith. Unless he is, and she's still looking at well, the Harvard hey, recruiter. She's a single lady. She's There's no ring on that finger anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That's it for the trivia. So what do we got? Uh, what's in the mind of Alex this episode? Okay, a couple things now. Oh, gosh, um, I'm nervous. So maybe, those, I, maybe I won't ask the question. So those cookies uh-huh. that Harriet was going to throw away. Yep. There is no way in hell she would have ever thrown those cookies away. You know how pissed off Carl would oh be my God. if he found those cookies in the trash? Oh, he would be He'd beside be, himself. Yeah. Yeah. And I like... Honestly, is that all Harriet does on her days off? Is bake bake cakes, bake cookies? <laughs> yeah. Like holy shit! Like, yeah. I guess that's her hobby. Yeah, maybe after maybe she enjoys after guarding the world from yeah. bad people. Yeah, she's true. I mean, I like to sit down and drink a beer, watch a watch yeah. an episode of wow, something, I, but uh, drink some... a beer. Yeah. I drink well, multiple. <laughs> Anyways, uh, also. Um, I don't, uh, you probably don't remember Rodney too much. Um, uh, you're probably shocked about Rodney a little bit, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Rodney is probably, like, I am shocked that they don't keep Rodney around more in this series. Because he is literally, like, one of my favorite characters. Really? Just because he's like, I thought he was great. Like, I just thought he was like this, like, you need that yin and yang from, yeah, yeah. like, Rodney and, and Eddie. Yeah. But, I, I mean... Yeah. We figure out other things later on, but okay. like, like to me, he he's just he all I don't know. He's great, and uh, I'm glad the swing came back. Yeah, because we we had an episode without the swing set, yeah. the back porch. Yep, missed so an episode. I was worried about it. Yeah, it's it's back in full swing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was the, great. That wasn't even planned. <laughs> uh, so but, yeah, so our next episode of Family Matters is basketball blues. Ooh, wow. Can only imagine Eddie revolves around that episode. Yeah, I mean... That'd be I two should... episodes back-to-back revolving around oh, Eddie. Eddie. Yeah, I can't wait, honestly. I mean... Yeah, so we got Family Matters, Basketball Blues. He, he, he loves basketball, though. Did you see that? He has that... Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan yeah. poster in the background. That's pretty cool. And, and real quick, did you notice on Eddie's desk, he has the Chicago... Um, Chronicle? The, yeah, Chicago Chronicle. Uh, they have a little uh, thing up there. Nice. So a little shout out to that, too. Wow. So I didn't cool. know if you noticed that or I not. I did not. It's on the left-hand side of his desk up top there. Okay. So, I'll have to yeah. look next That's time. It. That was in my mind. I was like, I was yeah. on it. Yep. That's good. So, anyway. So, uh, yeah, next week we have Basketball Blues with uh, Family Matters and Daddy's Home for Full House. <laughs> so... All right, so thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of TGIF Renegades. Coming at ya! <laughs> we are so happy you gave us another listen. Uh, please join us every Friday for a new episode of our podcast. And if you need to keep up on Family Matters and Full House while we're reviewing them, uh, they're all, all episodes are available on Hulu. Yeah, and I mean, uh, you could be like me and <laughs> try to watch them on Hulu, but if, you know, I try to watch them... Might drink a little too many, and then this way I can just have Kenny tell me all about the episode, and then it comes, it foggily comes back, foggily comes back to my mind, cloudly, yeah. Fog- yeah, it's, yeah, it's foggy, it's foggy, it's, it's foggy a foggy memory, watch. yeah, it's a foggy memory when I watch these episodes, so Kenny really I, uh, I brings it home to me. Yeah, I bring in the bigger details, and some sometimes you bring in the clothing of the yeah. women. <laughs> yeah, so I'm all about this clothing. <laughs> And as we always say, though, thank God it's Friday! Hey, Kenny, grab me another beer.